What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Isabella Tarotarot, back again and hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations. Y'all are amazing. Um, if you would like to get in touch with me and to book a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below along with my Etsy, Etsy spiritual shop. Okay, so I'm really picking up on a like love message love message um i feel there's a lot of sexual energy around you in this time um i feel like it's because you're actually pulling back in some way sexually i don't feel like you're acting on every sexual impulse that you have i feel like but there but there's something about um there's something going on to where you are either very sexually attractive or or somebody's having very very um explicit thoughts about you okay i feel like you found a place of peace you're finding peace within yourself i feel like you're really just focused on you know the good shit and refusing to see any of the bullshit okay um we pulled a merry motive psychic abilities i love you mental prison and stalker <laughs> so i'm letting you know in advance I really feel like it's the stalker energy. Somebody wants in your energy so bad. Like this person is staying up late at night, almost obsessing over you. I feel like this is why you are, you know, feeling this. Um, you're feeling like somebody. I don't really know how to word this for you two. <laughs> uh, but I feel like you are, you're definitely feeling the vibrations, like say very sexual vibrations. And it's because this person is literally obsessing over you. Like, I feel like this person, um, they dream about you. I don't, it's either they're having flashbacks of random hookups that y'all had. Or, you know, just being, I'm not saying that. Um, this person is very fascinated with your rear end, but it's going to leave it like that. Your butt, like. They, they, they're, it's, you're dealing with an ass man, whoever this is, or an ass woman. I say an ass woman now. This is definitely an ass man. There is, um, somebody fantasizing about, I don't, I got a, I got a random visual of like, possibly y'all were on a road trip or some, you parked somewhere in a vehicle and, um, like y'all, like I'm getting a hookup at hookup that's either like on the side of the road or outside. Somehow it was very like, um, not necessarily just a random hookup. It wasn't a random hookup, but it's something that this person is like playing back in their head. Okay. I feel like this person is really like fantasizing on past times with you. Okay. I love you. Coming up lets me know that this person has like a lot of feelings for you i feel like they didn't realize it at the time but they're realizing it now and i also feel like it's because they are estranged from you or can't get near you can't get <laughs> heard can't get in you um i feel like this person look i saw <laughs> two of swords yeah it's because i can't get near you like they're completely out of your energy and it's like they want a resurgence with you they want um to come back into your energy, come back into you, um, <laughs> like, I'm feeling, um, hardcore, <sighs> this person, I don't, I don't necessarily, are they lonely? Yeah, no, I feel like they're, you know, in and out of situations, I don't feel like they're, look, if they're alone, it's because they want to be alone, but it's more so they're in and out of situations. I don't feel like they can find anybody who pleases them in the way that you did, or they can't find anyone who does it for them. Like, I, I'm not saying that this person isn't being sexually active anymore, but I feel like this person is very conflicted by the emotions that they're that they have for you i feel like um they're having these visuals play back in their head of past times with you like past times in the shower or seeing you in the shower there's there's something about that there's a shower and then there's the outs this outside scene that i keep seeing um i feel like this person they may have aquarius in their chart because i randomly saw in psychic abilities that um aquarius like that that word popped out 
in this in this in this right here okay so i feel like this person is actually oh don't die on me all right this person is actually possibly has um I'm not going to say they're a part of the occult, but I feel like they have some sort of manifestation abilities um, or abilities to see into the future. They know how to astral project or astral travel. This person may be popping up in your dreams. Um, I feel like they, um, like you're going to know or you're going to feel the vibes in some way that this person is trying to connect with you on another realm because I feel like they feel like they're shut out of your life and that's the only way back in. Um, I feel like you are also going through some kind of new wave of ascension or some some shit and i really feel like your third eye is opening in this time like it's wide open it's like i feel like you see everything for what it truly is in a certain situation so it's like i feel like this person you're like yes they may want to come back but i feel like they've also taken their precious time and it has also opened up the, the way that you view them like you may they may you they <laughs> God, can I speak today? This person may have a speech impediment or stutter or something about the way that they speak. So I'm like, what is this? I don't stutter. Um, st st stutter. I don't. Okay. But this person has some kind of speech impediment. There ain't nothing wrong with that shit. I'm just saying, don't come for me. Oh, yeah. That's why I turned my comments off. <laughs> okay. So, but I feel like this person... I feel like they've seen that you have moved on and they are, you know... I feel like randomly they talk to their friends and their friends say sl slick shit to them about you. And I feel like they they say something to their friends along the lines of they still mess with you even if they don't. Um, I feel like this person lies about what y'all actually have going on. Like even if it's just a friendship or if you even talk to this person at all, I feel like they make it out to be more than it actually is. Um, they try to make it like y'all still talk when you really don't. I really feel like you definitely have your defenses up in regard to this person because you know what kind of individual they are. It's like you're completely aware. Like you're not going to just, you know, um, change what you're doing because they're deciding to try to resurface in your energy and trying to um, come around and, you know, change the way that you view them. Um, I do get that there is some kind of shakeup that is happening for this person sexually. Um, I get it. They are. <sighs> Look, I'm seeing two kings. Oh, God. For some of you, if you're in a relationship, I, I wouldn't be shocked if this person tries to kind of stir up a little bit of um, drama with the person that you're with. To try to get back in there. I feel like they're really missing you. They're hardcore in their head on the memories. I'm telling you, they're sexual memories. I feel like they're playing it over and over. <laughs> Look, I heard the Nelly song. I think about it over and over again. Um, I keep picturing you with him and I can't take it. I can't shake it no more. This person has been hiding their feelings for you, Gemini. They have been keeping that shit on wraps. I feel like you're going to be um, shocked by whatever revelation actually comes up about this person. I feel like you had actually um, categorized this relationship as, you know, I feel like you put it into perspective and called it, it is what it is type situation. Like, I feel like you came to terms with, okay, maybe this was just a fling. Maybe this was just, you know, something from the past that wasn't much of anything maybe there maybe this relationship wasn't based in love maybe it was just based in ego based in attraction physical attraction um i feel like you're about to get some kind of revelation in regards to this that it was not just based in ego it was not just based in attraction well it was based in ego but it wasn't just based in on sexual favors um i feel like this person actually had strong feelings for you Ooh. yeah and they're trying to come back in they're trying to come back in and offer you something. They're trying to prove to you that they are worthy of your time, energy, and resources. They're trying to... What? Look at this. It's like this person is trying to make a resurgence into your life and be seen. Look, but you but you be on you're on guard you're on guard but they're wanting to be seen because you have left them out you have moved on and I feel like you've moved forward very fast they feel this energy um 
but I really get storyteller. Like, I feel like this person is lying about what y'all got going on. They are telling people that y'all are closer than you really are. I feel like some of you are actually in relationships. And this may um, stir up a little bit of drama in regards to a certain partnership that you're dealing with. But I, because of something that someone is actually saying. <laughs> Like, they cannot stop thinking about you. Hardcore stalker vibes. Hardcore. They want back in. This may be a Leo. I think we saw Aquarius. Look, I have pulled every king. I pulled every king. Reconciliation. And they're coming in fast. Coming in fast. Coming in hot. I feel like um, this person is actually coming in with some kind of proposition for you. So, be mindful. Um... They're going to present something to you within the next little while. Um, they definitely want peace. They want um, a, pe look, a peaceful, pro I heard peaceful proposition. What's underneath? Empowerment. I feel like this person is still trying to be connected to your energy, even though you've like cut them off. And they're trying to come in. Um, like, don't be shocked at this person. Like, if you're around them, you know, meeting up with them in any kind of setting. They're going to be smelling really good. They're going to be looking really good. It's like I feel like this person is going to be trying to get you to eye them, get you to look their way, get you to pay attention to them. I do get that you have moved on. And I feel like you're very focused on your financial success in this time. And I feel like you're reaping a wonderful harvest. It's like I feel like you put in all of your time, energy, effort, and resources into a smarter investment. I feel like you've gotten smarter with the partnerships that you um, entertain, is what I heard. You've gotten really smart with the partnerships you've entertained, and you've moved away from everything that was pretty much holding you back. I feel like there was a block on you financially, and you've really balanced your emotions and removed that block. You've taken back empowerment. You've taken back control of you yourself, your finances, your stability, and all that is around you, okay, um, yeah, and I feel like for a lot of you, you are very powerful manifestors, I feel like you are starting to see further distance, see farther into the future, like, I really feel like you know what this person is, is about, and I feel like Spirit's definitely telling you to just pay attention to the signs and know you know who this person is. So, you know what they're capable of, capable of as well. Clearly, this is someone with a speech impediment. Um, be mindful. They want a second chance with you. They're coming back. Hopefully, they ain't coming back to disturb the peace. But it feels like they're coming back. But they've been telling people behind the scenes that y'all are still... Look, they may also be telling people behind the scenes that y'all are still hooking up, heads up. You're a profoundly clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as your physical sight for your spiritual vision. Helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance underneath it. If you get nervous, focus on service. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. I feel like Spirit's definitely saying, Ascended Masters, once again a 33, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual Teachers are watching over and guiding you. I feel like you are so spiritually protected in this time. I feel like I heard cocoon. That also makes me think butterfly transformation, beautiful transformation. You've gone through a beautiful transformation. Your spirit guides are incredibly pleased with what they have been observing. Um, they want you to know that you are protected. I feel like you may ha have anxiety around a certain situation, but just know that you're in the protective shields and in the protective bubble. They're um, watching out on the sidelines to make sure no outside bullshit gets like can affect you. I feel like or you um, your emotional state because those are fish water like I feel like you've definitely gone through a very powerful transformation and I feel like you are being shielded from any outside negative influences you just got to keep your mind positive I heard eye on the prize so for some of you you're very goal oriented right now um they're just saying keep the peace within yourself don't worry about the outside worry about the inside because that's the like that's the only thing that you need to be worried about right now 
is what's going on within yourself, within your own emotions, okay? And if you are having issues with anxiety, keep yourself, you know, busy. Focus on service. Um, focus on doing better, being better, and, like, progress. Don't get stuck on something that might have held you back. You know, release that shit and move forward, okay? Because you are protected in this time in your endeavors, Anyways, that's the message I've got for you guys. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you would like to be notified whenever I upload videos. Um, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.